Okay, people. Doing some little housekeeping here, trying to get everything together. This is my first live broadcast, and I'm trying to watch it at the same time that I'm producing it. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while, kind of like I see a lot of other people in intellectual radio and uh, those guys out there, everybody's producing a show, and that may be something I eventually will get into. Uh, producing my my own show uh, but I want to produce other people's shows uh, basically right now I'm looking at probably doing this on a Tuesday and and Thursday uh, from 7:30 to 8 uh, a lot of you all may know that I do a uh, internet radio show from uh, 8 to 10 Monday Tuesday Thursday and Friday and on Wednesdays we do from 10 p.m. To, to midnight uh, so hopefully you guys can get around to checking out the show uh, play a, a mixed variety of music and some uh, rock uh, blues hip-hop just variety daily we do a uh, noon mix but we usually play music from 11 o'clock until about 2 o'clock but at t from 12 to 1 that's the noon mix hour we also do a uh, kind of like a a battle show, maybe once a week. Uh, but you know, we we'll see how that goes. That's just one of the ventures uh, that I'm trying to get into, trying to do more producing, uh, trying to promote businesses. If you have a business that you want to promote, uh, just like you see my card on the screen, I'll be glad to put your business up on the screen, promote it. Uh, I may even be able to do some uh, Skype sessions if someone's willing to test and promote their business uh, that we can add you in through a Skype session and you'll be able to uh, promote your own business on the show. It's going to be a variety of topics. Uh, let's say first that we're not trying to upset anyone or anything like that. Uh, I don't have a PhD in psychology or anything like that so most of the stuff you hear will be my opinion or other people's opinions and you know you're gonna have to take it with a, a grain of salt we will have a chat room that's gonna be available so when when you're in, in the chat section you can uh, type, type in messages and and things of that nature and then you'll be able to communicate with me or other people in the room. I'm trying to get to the room now. I thought it was there, but it looks like I wasn't there. But I will see about getting there. Uh, like I say, this is a new program. Uh, testing some things out. You guys have to give me your feedback. Uh, don't worry if you if you don't see the live chat. Uh, I'm recording everything so it, they'll be posted uh, you'll be able to go to my uh, YouTube account and uh, pull them up from there uh, I'll, I'll try to have them posted by the next day uh, so that that'll be one thing if you if you do go to my my channel I hope you subscribe and uh, give me give me feedback there uh, again, it's going to be a lot of different topics. Uh, most of it to be stuff that's going on in the news today. Topics. Uh, I, I know there's going to be some uh, Black Lives Matter. We're going to talk about economic development. Uh, just just a whole bunch of different things. You know, we we want to try to uh, put a lot out there and just kind of start having dialogues instead of focusing on what's you know bringing us down we're going to try to focus on solutions uh, development moving forward in, in a positive manner I know some people aren't on Facebook I had someone that gave me their email address I'm going to try to see if I can uh, get this in I have you can't see it but I have a, a laptop in front of me and I'm looking at another screen so there's there's a whole little micro studio going on here 
and once we get get that all set up uh, I guess it'll, it'll all be great so right now I'm just uh, adjusting the screen I'm going to share, share the screen with you whereas these we're going to try to focus on solutions uh, development moving forward in, in a positive manner I know some people aren't on Facebook I had someone that gave me their email address I'm going to try to see if I can uh, get this in I have you can't see it but I have a, a laptop in front of me and I'm looking at another screen so there's there's a whole little micro studio going on here and once we get get that all set up uh, I guess it'll, it'll all be great so right now I'm just uh, adjusting the screen I'm going to share, share the screen with you whereas we're going to try to focus on solutions uh, development moving forward in, in a positive manner I know some people aren't on Facebook I had someone that gave me their email address again uh, I won't have a problem with promoting any, anyone's business if anyone's got a business they want to promote I, I will happily promote it for them no problem Uh, next thing on my list, uh, I guess we just want to explain the, the format a little more. We don't want people coming into the chat room and, and getting crazy and and doing crazy stuff. I mean, everybody has a right to their opinion, so we want to respect everybody's opinion. And maybe once we get that actual phone line going, then we'll we'll be able to to hear hear people more so and and figure out what what type of things that people want to say and what's what's on their mind uh, but bear with us you know it's it's a new project it's something new we're doing uh, uh, you will have to set up an account in order to get into the chat room so that uh, you will have to set up an account to get into the chat room when you go to the page it it will uh, it's it's free of charge. It's not going to send you any emails or anything like that. But it, it will be the only way that you can get into the chat room and and do a little chatting. I'm trying to go to the chat room now, which is a shame because I should already be in the chat room, right? <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Yeah, bear with me, bear with me. Okay, and I, I see it now. If you could see everything I got going on, you would understand <laughs> that there's a lot that I have going on. Um, I'm now in the chat. There's also a, a social stream option where you can uh, share on your Twitter account or share on your Facebook page. Uh, totally up to you if you want to do something like that uh, hopefully we, we can get get something going for everyone so th that's probably a welcome message out there already I'm not sure who's actually in or available uh, I'm gonna try to send this email to uh, the person that gave me their uh, information. I understand it may take a few minutes for people to, to, to get in but uh, if there's things that you like to see, things you like to talk about uh, send them to us in, in the little uh, in the chat stream I, I'll see them. Uh, like I said we're going to mix up topics right now today this is just a first time broadcast so we're, we're we're just playing around and and getting some things in order like I said hopefully it's going to be a, a great experience for everyone like I said phone lines according to what type of feedback and things I get then they're now considered the, 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 the phone system right now we're going to stay with the chat system for a minute and and see how that works I'm probably gonna need an assistant uh, the way the way this thing seems to go here uh, 
because it's like I'm, I'm jumping around from here to here to here so it's, it's kind of hard for me to see everything at once which means I'm probably gonna have to change my my monitor setups um, just verifying now that I can see everything on on Facebook so like I say it's testing 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 okay I, I do see the, the the live stream option and hopefully I can like I say if, if you don't have Facebook uh, I know a lot of people aren't on Facebook you can uh, email me at uh, RPC computing or send me something in the in the in the chat box and I will try to send you the actual link as I'm doing for this person that I, I spoke to earlier today and hopefully this will also allow them to get on and, uh, and join in also because they expressed a lot of interest and hopefully like I say down line I'm gonna reach out to a few people maybe some folks from intellectual radio and stuff like that and uh, see see what I can do get some guests on that you know are, are interesting or can can provide insight to uh, a lot of different topics there's, there's so much going on in the world today and you know so much we, we don't dialogue about so I, I guess that's going to be the next step in a lot of things that we dialogue uh, don't get used to this shirt and tie because I'm not always going to have a shirt and tie uh, a lot of times I have on a shirt and tie because I'm, I'm just rushing in from work, uh, walking my dog. Uh, today I was a little delayed, so, but I, I still want to create the experience and start working on it. Uh, I can give you a little insight for Thursday. We're going to be doing probably more of the business development thing. Uh, there's a person I look at on the internet called Boyce Watkins. Uh, he's a former professor. He's written a couple of books on uh, economics and uh, ownership. And I think that's going to be uh, a, a great thing for us when we talk about ownership and how every black person should own something. Uh, and it kind of stems from not owning anything and always feeling like you're underneath the, the, the system. And we're trying to get away f with pointing at the system and creating some for ourselves. I've been doing my computing thing for about 10 years. It's a legal business. Yes, I pay taxes. Uh, I, I, I saw some inter interesting on the Internet. I'm going to share it with you because it was something that was said clearly 50 years ago and it kind of rings true for what's going on with, with us today. So take a quick look at this. If white immigrants can come to this country 50 years ago with nickels and dimes and no education and come here and pool their little nickels and dimes and no education into, with, and set up little stores, develop these stores into larger stores develop this into an industry which creates job opportunities for whites. Since Lincoln was supposed to have freed the black man a hundred years ago, and today the black man, according to the government economist, has spending power of twenty billion dollars per year. We feel that with the black man spending twenty billion dollars a year, not setting up any businesses, not creating any industry, not creating any job opportunities for his own kind, He's not in a moral position to point the finger today at the white man and tell the white man that he's discriminating against him for not giving him a job in factories that he has he himself set up. If the black man has $20 billion and these so-called Negro leaders are such geniuses that they can integrate white restaurants and integrate white factories and integrate, force themselves into that which the white man has set up, they should use this same ingenuity to show the black people how to pool our wealth and set up something of our own. And then we won't have to force our way into his anymore. One more thing I would like to point out concerning what he said about 125th Street. I found that very interesting. That's 50 years ago when we had $20 billion spending power. 
where they said now we have a tri trillion dollar spending power but like like Malcolm was saying we don't invest in our own corporations or or building our own communities that's that's a problem and it's a problem because it's it's 50 years and it's like we're still complaining still begging still not growing still not together I'm, I'm gonna share a second video I, I didn't want to give you too much before the Thursday program but I'm, I'm gonna share it anyway our dear sister Julianne Malvo mentioned a Philip Randolph yeah. man that was long time ago and the cry was jobs yeah. and justice yeah. right. in the march on Washington in 1963 mm. the cry was mm. jobs mm. And, and justice, justice. in the 20 year anniversary of the march on Washington the cry was jobs mm. and, and justice, justice. we are now in 2010 and, the cry. and what is the cry? Jobs and justice. Well, wait a minute. How long, Not long are you going to sit around begging white people to do for us what we have the power to do for ourselves? Now, I know a lot of people don't like Farrakhan or listen to uh, a lot he says. Uh, and I'm not the world's biggest Farrakhan fan. I, I think there are some issues with the nation. I mean, it's issues with everything. So, uh, you know, we, we take, it, take it for what it is, but there's, there's a lot of truth there also that you're, you're not going to be able to change if you, you constantly keep doing the, the same things. It's, it's just impossible. So, like I say, we, we have to think in, in a whole different way and and do do what we need to do. And like I say, and and when, when we do what we need to do and then we build legacies. We we leave something for our kids. Don't put our kids in the same situation that we've been in. Uh, go to school, get an education, get this big student loan and spend the next thirty years paying off the student loan so uh, because you're not building anything you're, you're building debt and the, the thing is if we can start some businesses and go from there and, and leave your son something or leave your daughter something uh, it, it starts with you I mean you can have my business isn't gigantic. I, I can tell you that I'm not making nearly the money I should be making, and it's, and, and I have to point at me, because I got to get my hustle up. I got to go and and do what I need to do. I got to do all the marketing, put it out there. There was a time when I did make just as much with my business as I did going to work, and then I made sacrifices for that job that I should have been making for my business. That's that's on me. So uh, it it may start small, and then it it'll grow uh, down the line. But I I got to keep pushing that, just like I'm doing this thing here now, doing the radio station thing. I'm interested if I can help you do your thing. Like I say, it's it's going to be a group effort here where we're trying to do something with with everyone. So hopefully uh, we can get, get more more people involved, uh, start having some group sessions, maybe having some meetings, you know, uh, growing and expanding. And uh, I'm, I'm open to, to anything. Like I say, I, I'll promote your business. If, if, if you want to advertise or send me your business card, I, I want to start every show off with, you know, promoting a few businesses, letting people know what your location is, and and going from there. Uh, like I said, we're going we're going to have a, a lot of topics. I'll try to put the topics out 
uh, as soon as possible when 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 I get them usually when I send out the the, the link uh, it will have what the topic is going to be or when I post it on uh, on my page it will show you what the, what the topic is but we're, we're going to keep growing and growing uh, there's a little segment I was thinking about also that's at the uh, at the end of the show I, I may do a, a video every week that I find is entertaining or or has some value or, or something that everybody may may enjoy maybe you want to enjoy it but I, I may like it maybe something that I'm just liking I may direct you to a, a a web page that I found interesting or a link that I found interesting and you know let's learn together hey I'm, I'm gonna tell you right off I don't know nothing I'm trying to learn you know and you know the person that thinks they know everything it's the person that doesn't know anything, so I'm I'm always open to 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 learning, uh, growing, extending some things, and uh, see see where it takes me from there. But but you got to start somewhere. Everybody's got to start somewhere. And like I said, we're we're not here trying to be negative and offend people uh, because that's not what it's about, you know. But we we are here to to be able to to have have a dialogue and 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 do some different things and hopefully this will uh enlighten us all help us all uh like i said there's a lot of things i i, I know events and things that may be coming up I'll, I'll post those events we'll uh try to reach out and and keep everybody in in the, in the mix you probably see me keep looking over because I'm like I said I'm trying to monitor the show at the same time that I'm doing the show to see how how everything comes across uh, trying to see how many people that I can actually get into the 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 room and things uh, and it, it may start off with a couple of people a lot of people don't like to go through the process of doing a quick registration hopefully you do the quick registration and and you join us. I'm looking at something else because I got other people that are on my Facebook page and they're sending me messages so I'm trying to answer that too. Uh, but that's that's a good thing because I'm, I'm, I'm running a business right? So uh, I work from 8 to 5 for someone else and then uh, the rest of the time I gotta work for me. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you about the seminar I went to one day. It's called Something's Got to Give, and it's basically talking about your commitment to uh, running your own business and the amount of time that it's going to take for you to put in to, to get that business up and running. Uh, I see we're at 7.55, so what I'm going to do right now, I've, I, I heard this video, and, and it, it was I, I like the tune. A lot of people don't like hip hop, and they don't like the message. Okay, to to each his own. I kind of still like a lot of the hip hop, a lot of the newer stuff. I I don't like, uh, so I won't be playing Wheezy or anything like that. But uh, this was was a good mix. I I thought it was the message was kind of kind of entertaining. Hopefully it doesn't offend anybody. Uh, but. I'm going to play this video and then we're going to be signing off for the day because uh, from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock we're going to be playing playing that music over on, on the show and like I say hopefully you, you guys will be able to 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 go to uh, uh, but that's that's a good thing because I'm, I'm, I'm running the business right so uh, I work from eight to five for someone else, and then uh, the rest of the time I got to work for me. Uh, we we'll, we'll appreciate it. Uh, trying trying to do a lot of different things. Hopefully, a, a lot of this has been kind of entertaining for you. Uh, that you you got some type of insight, and we're going to end it always just like my man Don Cornelius. Love, peace, and soul. We have to step out of the car. No, you don't have the right. Step out of the car. You do not have the right to do that. I do have the right. Now step out or I will remove you. I refuse to talk to you other than to identify myself. Step out of the car. Now if you're woman, ain't no revolutionary. She'll persuade you to be the fucking slave for the rest of your days. She be grooming you on how to behave. Teaching you how to cool and buck dance so that you can be safe. If that brother 
ain't no rider, soldier, no provider, molder of young minds. Check it out, you got yourself a bitch. Think about the time that you invest in him. If he's wearing them skinny jeans, you a lesbian. For every 100 black women who ain't locked up, it's only 83 black men remain. Take away 1.5 million black men who might have benefited their women and their children. You don't know a war when it's waged against you when it makes you drive your baby mama to the clinic just to kill your own. Ain't no legacy to leave behind Cause ain't nobody sitting on your throne You motherfuckers are asleep in a war zone Living a nightmare, dying in your own home If you don't stop, you gon' lose what you got left I'd rather die trying to fight for my last breath Freedom or death, you asleep in a war zone Living a nightmare, dying in your own home If you don't fight, you gon' lose what you got left I'd rather die trying to fight for my last breath Freedom or death, nigga Sandra Plank was a rider She wouldn't have committed suicide And you a motherfucking liar It would not be wise to stop When you hear sirens And you see the police behind you But you don't wanna die They gon' shoot you if you run They gon' say that you was going for the police gun That's why they shot you like a hundred and twenty times But you were still coming So they put another bullet in your lung Them devils got you praying while they murdered Because they know you on that bullshit They scare you with them full clips and body armor They kill your women in the street Living a nightmare, dying in your own home If you don't stop, you gon' lose what you got left I'd rather die trying to fight for my last breath Freedom or death, you asleep in a war zone Living a nightmare, dying in your own home If you don't fight, you gon' lose what you got left I'd rather die trying to fight for my last breath Freedom or death, nigga